Very good. Thank you for joining me. It's just a part three, just to show you. I sharpened this. You saw the previous video, you saw it wouldn't cut very well, it wouldn't push cut paracord at all. Um, it would cut paper, but it snagged a bit. Um, what I've done, oops, careful with your knives. I shouldn't have done that, but there you go. Right, so what I've done, I've took the hollow ground. This was hollow ground here and here. I flattened that off, so that's one nice smooth ground now. One nice smooth ground instead of a hollow ground. So I've got a more acute edge now. Uh, it's nice and shiny and sharp. And uh, let's see how it does on the uh, on the cutting. First of all, we've got this glossy paper again. It would cut through, but it wasn't smooth. We'll see what it's like now. It's uh, considerably better than it was. As you can see. So, paper, job done. It's working. So that's the paper, glossy paper. Now we've got the, the newsprint, if you like. We'll try that. That should be okay. If you saw the previous video, this out the box wasn't very sharp at all. But as you can see, it's now sharp. Right, put that away. Get rid of that. Now this this is what it had a problem with. Push cutting through the paracord, it just wouldn't do it. As hard as I pushed, it just would not push cut paracord. And that was it. Spyderco Edge out the box brand new, which was disappointing. So just to show you, now I've sharpened it. It will push cut quite easily now. There you go, nice clean cut, you want the, the tip, a bit further up the blade, and it's going through. It's not the cleanest of cuts, but considering it wouldn't go through at all, middle of the blade, considering it wouldn't go through at all, it's going through nicely now. So that's that paracord test. I've got another paracord test. I'm going to borrow this one a hard surface with some cardboard. I'm just going to do the, uh, the push through test. Um, so yeah, if it's sharp, it'll push through this, no problem. There we go. Now that is a lovely, clean cut. Try it in the middle of the blade. Once again, I can't quite get me because it's flat, because it's a flat blade in that, it's a bit awkward to get to, so we'll try again. There we go. Okay, I've caught a bit of fray edge, but that's any, it will cut through. It's just getting the pressure in the right place. Try one more. Just try and get it there, sort of at the belly of the base of the blade push it through. That's not flat enough there, so I'll start again. There we go. That's popped it clean. One more. No, the thing's in the way again. Now I just can't quite... And you can see it's cutting nice and cleanly anyway. Worry about that. One more little bit. We'll turn that round like a bit more rigid this end. A bit more. That's through. Now it's just awkward with a flat knife. But you can see it's it's sharp enough. There we go. So that's that. Just like that blade. 
you find a little test. I've got this piece of cardboard, it's quite thick. Um, just use this knife, the one I used in the previous video, just to show you that this one is sharp. There we go. A good idea to hold the knife still, hold the knife still and move what you're cutting like that. That's what you would do if you're doing batoning and bushcraft. You would hold the knife pretty much and pull the material through it. But of course you can you can push it through if you really wanted to. So that's that knife. Now this knife. It's not going to cut as cleanly, I know that. Because that's a narrow stock, but it's a pretty clean cut, nice and clean. Oh, it doesn't like that bit how it's folded over on me. Let's try this bit here then. It is only a small knife. It does cut quite well. It's quite thick cardboard this. So that's the cardboard test. I don't know why. Just go back to the paper, see if it's still sharp. Yeah, it's still sharp, as you can see. So, newly sharpened, newly sharpened spider cake kiwi. It was not, not very sharp out of the box, although it would cut. It wouldn't cut, push cut paracord at all. So, yeah, it's just like a slab of paper. Paper's all folded and it's annoying when that happens. It's got this glossy paper anyway. It's sort of a nice smooth cut. So there you go. Well, thanks again for your time. Um, just a little follow up to the a flat ground, the, the hollow ground on there. I'll put a sharp edge on it. That's ready to pop in my pocket and there. Uh, Take with me on my travels now. And well, one thing about this knife, I did, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but in the UK, you're not allowed to carry certain knives of certain, you know, uh, configurations and blade lengths, and you're not allowed a locking knife, you're not allowed a blade more than three inches. So, I mean, this is legal because it's a slip joint. Whereas this one, this is a lock knife. So I know the blade is less than three inches long, it's only about two and a half inches, same length as that, blade to blade. But because this has got a lock on it, they class it as illegal, whereas this one is legal. It's a strange thing in the UK, the health and safety and they're hyper, hyper sensitive to, you know, oh, someone stabs someone with a knife. That doesn't mean everyone that carries a knife is going to go around stabbing people. You know, you don't need a knife to stab someone. You can use a nail or a key or, a, you know, anything you find almost. You could pick a brick up and hit someone with it. A stone, you could, you can even, I haven't got one with me actually. Here in the UK, we, well, it's from the 80s from a, a football team called Millwall. Um, they called it the Millwall brick. The idea is you take a newspaper, the everyday tabloid, it used to be the sun or the star or whatever. What you would do, you would fold it up and you would fold it again like so. Then you'd attempt to fold it again like so. And that's all that is is a newspaper. You know, anyone can buy a newspaper for next to nothing or pick one up out of the trash. And once you've got that in your hand, that is going to hurt someone if you hit them with it. Uh, I haven't really got anything that I can hit to show you how hard it is, but you get the idea. You get the idea. It's just a blunt force, hard impact weapon. So that's something that you can make a weapon out of if you were desperate, you know. So maybe I shouldn't have shared that with you, but... Um, 
Maybe someone will find it useful or they can tell their friends or, or one thing or another anyway. So, uh, we'll call it a day there. Part three, done and dusted. All sharpened, nicely flat ground, ready to go in my pocket. Well, thanks again for your time today. I hope uh, someone's enjoyed watching that and uh, take care and bye for now.